I'm a marine anthropologist. We are basically a group of scientists trying to figure out, okay, how do you actually develop a marine spatial plan for the South African context using Algoa Bay as the pilot site? A lot of the information and research that's informing management at the moment is very top-down, still focused on that economic narrative or that conservation narrative, and not necessarily on, well, what makes people happy? How are people actually relating to the ocean and coast? Because very often, people who are subsistence fishers, people who are small-scale fishers, people who are recreational ocean users, they also want to sustainably manage the coast, actually way more than the whole bigger national narrative or the economic narrative. What are the socio-cultural aspects of ocean use and how do we actually integrate that into how we plan to manage the ocean and the coast? This project is really slowing things down. If we can have one-on-one -on -one time with some people and use photography, use storytelling, what are we actually going to learn? What are we going to find? space research consultant. I did workshops with Mia and with Nina and the rest of the team and the co-researchers about why art is such a useful tool for us to engage with processes like this. Art quite literally shows you someone else's perspective. So you can quite literally see through someone else's eyes. You can see how they see the ocean, how they frame it. This picture here, I'm standing on the rock but I give back to the ocean. We call the ocean a woman because the Khoisan culture, our women are respected, we are loved, but equally feared. We give and we take. Historically, marine spatial planning is about oversight. It's quite a hierarchical exercise where people have a large perspective. And so it's got to do with trying to shift that balance. Who are the real experts in this context? Are the experts just the people who can make maps? Or are the experts also the people who engage with the ocean? I'm glad to make my mark tonight because the Khoisan, this is their country and they should have a say in the life that matters about them. Not the government telling us what we can't do and what we shouldn't do. They must sit the round table with us and talk to us, and then we can express our feelings. Heritage is best managed by the people closest to it. How do we get communities involved? Because really coming in with that top-down approach and telling people what we consider to be important about their heritage and how we think it should be managed isn't necessarily the best way. Ons moet Die see and look at For me, is the see one of the very important places where the people from different places come, they ride thousands of kilometers to tourist. Mshanja silapa eluanje, lenda uke yenda wesi choni play or tina singa matpeka kaku uluanje. Ngoba si kolo la ekbe noko baaba na kulapo amanyange akoma kwetu aisa e aye pila kutala. Osi kolo lokbe nba kulapo amanyango akoma kutai pila kutala asala kona. 
I wouldn't want to see a future where our children's children or our children won't be able to experience the ocean like we had. If we all can just do the responsible thing and then we can save the ocean. I feel like my vision for my own future changed a bit because of this. When we see a story, we read a story and we see a photograph and it's a snippet of something. It allows us to imagine the rest of that thing. And it also allows us to imagine things differently. So if you're looking at a problematic situation or you're looking at destruction, art allows us to see the potential to build a better future. I feel so, I can't, my, my spirit is lifted, really. My spirit, is, if I see all the pictures, my spirit is lifted. We always think of the commercial activities that needs to happen in the ocean, but there's more than that. There's cultural attachments to the ocean. People have been living around the ocean for many years. So I've realized today that you know there's more than just commercial activities and we need to take local knowledge, culture, heritage into all these plans that we, we develop. What for me, what stands out, we talk one, one language here. We talk about the calmness of the ocean, the healing of the ocean, the freedom of the ocean, the cleaning of the ocean. And you know what, yeah? there was different cultures there. There was white water, Khoisan, all the cultures, but the ocean made us one.